heard Snoop complaining about it. It was a lot of people. A lot of people that didn't feel like the music industry has been paying what it's supposed to pay in this phase. I don't understand how the fuck you get paid off of that shit. Can somebody explain to me how you can get billion streams and not get a million dollars? And so that's something that that a lot of artists and a lot of people complain about. You know what I mean? But you have a different take on it. Can you survive it? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah. Yeah. But when you're talking about staying relevant, what do you think about the music industry right now when you see a lot of people are, not say struggling, but the, the antics that they're doing to stay relevant in the music industry? What do you feel about that? Well, everybody is complaining about the streaming and how it goes and what. I got narratives to it. It's like this. They always said the gas price is up, right? Mm -hmm. Man, the gas price. Boy, they don't get none. You ain't got to get none. They got to drive. No, no, no. no. You, it, you would not go to jail for not getting no gas. <laughs> I'm going to go get some. I don't care if it's $5 a gallon because I got something to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with the streaming and the music game. It's so bad. They met, Let it alone. You don't have to listen to it. You don't have to do it. You don't have to go in that studio and waste that time, do them videos, do that content. All these people that's complaining about their streaming and making these, they still at it. I'm but, not even talking about the streaming part. I'm talking mainly about, because um, people always say it's not the talent that's in right now. It's how crazy you can go with your, your drama, the antics, like that sort of stuff. Because that's where people are going to be watching you. Well, for me... It's, it's always different phases of the game. The game go through different phases. Vinyl, uh, cassettes, CDs, streaming, content. It's all about can you survive it? You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people doing a lot of antics and all that. Will they survive it? Will that be enough for you to continue? That that be my that thing. I, I don't care what it's been. I figured out a cassette. I didn't understand any of them. Yeah. I, didn't, I, I, don't, I remember cassettes stacked all up in the garage yeah. And, yeah. and people bootlegging them. I remember the CDs getting burned and bootlegged. Yeah. Now we got the stream and we don't understand that. Now we trying, can you survive it? And the thing about it, the game ain't for everybody. No, it ain't. It might take you 20 years to figure out that that wasn't for you. Or it might take you 20 years to figure out the particular lane that you get in. It's a lot of rappers that should be managers. It's a lot of other people that, it's a lot of different other ways to make money in the game that people so, People are just, sometimes people tap into what they see, antics and this, that, but how long is the survival rate on that? Mm -hmm. Can you really win on it? Can you stay in that particular space? Me, man, I haven't really had to, I don't do that much talking. Like this park, I don't, no, because don't. I don't I don't have, it doesn't require me to have to survive off that. I'm extremely blessed in what I do now. I understand the game. I, I need to do more talking. You got to come out, content, tell your story. But I haven't been able to do something like that and have to lean on it. Yeah. I've been blessed. And I tell people, when the, in the, even in the podcast game, some of my partners, I tell them that want to jump in. Hey, be careful because sometimes you be compromising your character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when you get through with the podcast game, you want to come back over here to the real one. Mm -hmm. And most of us, we're going to look at you based on the character that you just got to right. driving yourself into for the last couple of years. So sometimes people, man, are jumping into things that might not be sustainable for their character and who they are. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep with it. I want to go back to the streaming part because there was a lot, like I said, I heard Snoop complaining about it. It was a lot of people. A lot of people that didn't feel like the music industry has been paying what it's supposed to pay in this phase. I don't understand how the fuck you get paid off of that shit. Can somebody explain to me how you can get billion streams and not get a million dollars? And so that's something that that a lot of artists and a lot of people complain about, you know what I mean? But you have a different take on it. Can you survive it? That, that That's just it. My whole thing is we have to be able to play the game until we get it figured out. It goes back to what I'm saying. Did you have cassettes figured out? Did you have CD? You didn't have any of that figured out, but you survived it. All they pay, and it goes back to what I'm saying. Like, if it's that much of pressure and 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 and, and stopping you from getting where you want to go, you don't have to do it. You don't. You don't have to do it. Like, you don't have to continue to get these beats, go in the studio, record. This is something that got to be in you in order. I heard y'all say the thing about Snoop. About, you know what I'm saying? Snoop is an OG. That's my guy. I love him. I think what he's saying is perfectly true of what he's saying. But here's the thing about it. It's not stopping him from doing it. No. This is a total game. Like, for instance, 
we're talking about the streaming. Well, we can complain about it and how much it's not doing and what it is, but take the rest of it from us, though. What about taking the Instagram from us, taking YouTube from us? All of it's a thing. Like, when I drop 25 Summers, it's not just about the album. It's about Honeyland, this particular show. I done this here. It's a whole thing. So my whole thing is we're complaining about one side of the game of it, but it's connected to everything. I use Snoop for the same example, which is, Snoop may have made a great example of how we get losing on the streams, but if you turn around, Snoop is the biggest branded artist in the game. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's Corona, this, that. I don't Everything. care. Everything. Commercials, what you, this what nigga. You do, what Martha you, Stewart, this whatever nigga. Whatever you can think of. So my whole thing is favor ain't foul. Yeah, yeah. And the streaming part of it is just one part of it. It takes more than that. It takes the content. It takes the posting. It takes the music. It ta it's an overall thing. And if you outwork the process, that's what I do. I outwork the process. I do so much work to whatever you cheat me on, you got to eventually tell me the truth. Because <laughs> I'm going to outwork the process. I'm not going to have less work than you can out cheat me for. I'm going to have more work that you're going to have to come clean about. And one thing about it, I'm going to own mine. <laughs> I'm going to own mine. So you're going to eventually have to tell me the truth. So I don't have a lot of streaming complaints because my favor and where I'm at, it's about favor. I'm not watching the numbers from that type of way. The album brings this. The album gives me a chance to go to Boss Talk. The album gives me a chance to go on the, uh, um, do the rodeo and yep. come out. The yep. album gives me a chance to rap in front of 25,000 with Jesus. The album gives me a chance to get the sponsorships and the, I, I got my own ice cream flavor. I got my own beer. I got my own clothesline. Mm -hmm. It's a whole thing. So it goes back to some of the artists that complain it. This ain't even for you. I did see Jeezy down there. You just mentioned that. Beautiful. We had a beautiful what the, hell? the snow what, fest. Yeah, what, what was how did that come together? Explain that to me. Jeezy, man. I think Jeezy is a part of our city, just like he's a part of yeah, Detroit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He come a lot. He a gang, he's a street cat. We love him. So he just left yeah. a few weeks ago, but in November, Dope. in November we had him for the snow fest. It was real big. So like, I seen him. I, yeah. I didn't I was like, damn, he was down there. You know, yeah. he hit you like that on that internet. Yeah. You know, I'm old, I ain't going too many places, but I said, damn, Jesus down there, they're kicking it. Yeah. But it, it's something that, that you figured out though. You know how to uh uh you know launch a project, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but to launch a project, man, like you do, the way you layer it, the way you lay it out, that's a that's a gift, bro. Everybody not able to do that. Some people are doing it you know, to, just to the best of their ability on the independent level. You, for some reason, it looks different. I've told a lot of people this. You hear me say it a lot. Mm -hmm. When Kiki, when that nigga launched something now, it's like a whole, like he under some type of a label or something. Well, the thing is about it, people would think that that's related to a financial thing. No, that's effort. God gonna bless your effort. Like, like I'm not all the, the, the I tell people, this is not as easy as spend 40000 drop it. 80,000 come back. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. It's not that simple. But I put up, man, me and Slim, then we be laughing all the time when I let him hear my rage. Tell him, man, you be doing them professional albums. <laughs> I be, and I be, he laughs when I tell him, man, I just be trying to get God to see that I really do. I'm really working. You're playing your seed. I'm really trying to, so he can, you know, and I'm, I'm spiritual. Like, harvest. Mindset is everything. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So my mindset, so when I do a roll out, you know, from from the cars to the uh, to the album to the content and pieces. I'm just, hey man, it goes back to, hey man, at this particular age, for you to be still tapped into anything that I do, I want you to know that I'm very appreciative and grateful. So I'm gonna put out some effort in order to make you like. I don't. I'm not sad when I'm getting ready to do a release because I know I got the vibe and I got the energy of my fans. They gonna tap in. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.